Hello everybody, welcome to Witherman's super awesome epic advanced tutorial for Sonic Adventure on the Dreamcast. As you can see here, we are currently in the game. I am playing the game on hardware, but all these tricks will also work on emulator and they will all work on GDEMU. This is being recorded live on uh, my Twitch channel in twitch.tv slash Witherman. So for anybody that's you know new checking this out, be sure to check out the stream. I am currently the world record holder of the game, and I plan to take this game even further. But if you want to take yourself further and just knock out a lot of the nasty stuff in this game that you just really want to get like down and dirty with, let's we can go ahead and start getting to it. So the primary point of this tutorial is going to be showing off cutscene skips, as cutscene skips are significantly more difficult than any of the tricks that were showcased in my previous tutorial, and they are very crucial to the run. I'll be describing the scenario as to when you're going to want to perform the cutscene skips, as well as when in the, like, wh what you need to do to perform them. So I'll be, to explain this maybe a bit better, I'll explain when this cutscene normally takes place and what you need to do to, to perform it. So what you're gonna wanna do is after Emerald Coast, you have to fight the boss Egg Hornet. Egg Hornet has a very long preamble cutscene where you start by coming out of, uh, to, to do the cutscene skip, you start coming out of the train. You want to immediately cut this way and run across the train tracks. From the train tracks, you want to spin dash jump directly over to the green part of the area over here. You don't want to overshoot it, because if you overshoot it, you could land inside of the cutscene trigger as it's very big. It's very large around this centralized area too. You want to stay as far away from the staircase as you can while landing on the green side or close to the green side. The easiest way to line up this cutscene skip is by counting the amount of uh, these striped barricades there are or by just looking for this one with the big gap. So there is three, four, five five barricades and between the fourth and fifth barricade here you can see there's a big hole this big hole is basically where you want to jump to skip the cutscene you want to initiate a jump to jump over the fence like directly and then you want to make sure that you're plummeting straight down and kind of like dragging off towards the left if you do all of that accurately you'll see this the screen fade to black then come back and then eggman will start his little ramble and then he'll go away. If you, the cutscene keeps playing and you didn't quite get it, just reset the game and try setting it up again. It is faster to reset and try to skip the cutscene a second time than sitting all the way through it. Don't worry if you struggle getting this one, especially trying to go quickly. This is this cutscene skip, it takes a lot of time to get used to and the movement for it, like as I just did right there, is it's consistent, but man, it's it's very tricky. This one trips me up a lot. Sure, go see my parents and maybe see my friends and get food. But like, I pay such an absorbent amount of money for my car. Like, way more than I should. And it's almost all insurance. Like, my insurance. Heading back into Station Square after Windy Valley, you're going to want to go grab the Lightspeed Shoes. And once you've gotten the Lightspeed Shoes, you're going to be coming to the Casinopolis doors. As you can see, despite me beating the game, I have not actually opened the doors yet. I do not press the button. This is a tech known as Fuck the Button, where we just don't open the door. So as you can see, these are kind of... this, this door is kind of broken into four different pieces. There's the left rectangle, the left square, the right square, and the right rectangle. And as you can see, there is a hole in the right rectangle where it hasn't fully been put in place with the uh, the right square. So from basically any angle, you're going to want to spin dash right into the right, the little crease between the right square and the right rectangle. And if you hit it, you just go straight in a casino. It's a pretty simple trick, but it is very important to get down. Alright, as you can see now, we are exiting the ice cave after ice cap. 
Now, what we're going to do here is one of the trickiest cutscene skips in the game, but also one of the most important. This cutscene is extremely long. I'm going to show off the easier way of doing this first. This is none, This is known as the Knuckles Wall Run. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to run in a straight line from where that rock is at, and you're going to want to line up with this patch of grass that's kind of like on the wall texture here. From here, you're going to want to hold up and then straight to the right. It'll initiate a wall run. You're going to want to go low so that you can swing up. Sonic has to maintain his momentum on this wall. The best way to do that is going down and then going up. So you want to kind of take it like an arc. Kind of like a big candy cane. You know, it's kind of like two candy canes put together. Where you start off with a hook going up and then to the right, and then you do another hook going up. It's like Even from a low speed like this, you can make it up but you're not going to be able to quite clip out. You're going to want to spin a, sp uh, spin a spin dash against this, then just head right on up. Then once you're over, you want to aim for Tails' uh, little plane launch area. As long as you aim directly towards that that like square with all that like cybery texture texturing on it, you will be able to hit the cutscene trigger. If you do miss it, or you are a little slow, it's okay. This wall run is, again, very tricky to get used to. So I would try practicing it before you're in a run. Just get it down. But once you get this movement down, it basically never leaves you. It's a super, super consistent uh, wall run. Then plus, it's very useful if you had decide to go learn 130 emblems, as this is how you can get to the Semblem of Sonic. If you've, had, if you've had your fun with the Knuckles wall run and you're looking for the fastest method possible, the next one we're going to be learning is Raisin Launch. I think that Raisin Launch is a lot harder to get down and a lot more dangerous than the Knuckles wall run. The Knuckles wall run is very consistent. You can practice that one all day and you can, you can get it like every time. Raisin Launch has a lot more inconsistencies to it, but Raisin Launch is a trick that is is going to be useful for Sonic, Tails, and Knuckles. They all, if you can do it with one of them, you can do it with all three. So what you're going to want to do is come out of the ice cave tunnel, like the, the, the tunnel here, then immediately hook a left and go all the way around. Specifically, the marker you're going to want to look for is the wall, like the corner, is like lined up with this jabroni here. Or it's to the left of this tree if he hasn't spawned in. This trick also only works on the Japanese version of the game. I should note that. If you are running on the US version of the game, this trick does not work. You do not have to worry about it for now. Just focus on uh, the Knuckles wall run for now. As this doesn't save that much time compared to that. So what you're going to want to do is you need to start building up speed against this wall by holding straight up. Then once Sonic has gone into a full run, you start to hold upright on the control stick. Sonic will clip out. You want to immediately tap the left trigger and start falling directly to your right. There is no visual indicator this time as to where the cutscene trigger is at. You just have to remember where your position is compared to where you're trying to go. Your goal is to try and fall and die about right here. Where I died at is approximately where Sonic is standing. Sonic was just here, but below. It is an incredibly difficult clip to get consistently, but again, very fast if you can get it down. What? It's over. All right, so we have escaped Ice Cap successfully. Thank God, what a tricky stage. So from this point, we're gonna be coming out of the hotel from about this area. Don't worry, if you choose to pick up the crystal ring, if you don't pick up, choose to pick up the crystal ring, that's not gonna matter from this point forward as what we're gonna do now is we're gonna be setting up for what's known as Canada Clip. You wanna make sure that you stay as far away from Twinkle Park as possible when trying to line this up. From these doors, you want to spin dash almost directly into the station. 
what you're going to be heading to is this far right little window thingy, like the little window cover. This window cover is the only slope you're going to be able to get the correct angle on. You want to spin dash up this wall like this. And then what we're going to be trying to do is clip through this building. This building has collision almost all the way up to the top, but not quite all the way up to the top. This building is extremely difficult to clip through. This is the only way of doing so. And this trick looks really easy, but if you go too high, the camera freaks out and you lose control of Sonic, meaning you can't do it. If you go too low, then you hit the wall and you can't clip out. So you may be wondering, oh god, how do I time this? This looks fucking impossible. And it may feel like it for a little bit. It feels impossible for a little while. But after a while, you start to get a hang of it, and there is a little, little secret, little secret that makes this a lot easier. If you put a slight curve on Sonic, it doesn't have to be a big one. Just a slight curve, like a slight little diagonal angle whenever you're charging your spin dash, Sonic will become so much more manageable whenever you're trying to do this clip. It doesn't need to be major, but just the smallest curve will allow Sonic to easily clip in through this building. The big problem is you want to make sure you don't go too far, as if you go too far, then you land inside of the speed highway area, which is not where we want to be. If you get in there, you're forced to exit through the garage, it's a one-way door, and then try again. Otherwise, what you're going to do from here is uh, hold down on the D-pad. Holding down on the D-pad forces the camera to clip out to come see Sonic. Do not die here. You can fall between this little area of the grass and the, and the road. Now that we can see where we're at, our objective now is to walk as far as possible on the road. If you can't quite see, remember to, you can clip your camera out with you. Alright, you have to do it again. Our goal here is going to be to fall through this light blue area, don't touch the water, and end up in the pool behind, like end up falling under the pool behind Twinkle Park. So, to demonstrate what it's going to look like when you're doing it, I'm going to put it all together so you can properly see it. When you're performing this, you're going to have about a camera angle like this. Then you're going to maybe have to do part of this blind if you take it a bit too, bit too slow. And just fall right on down and head into the Twinkle Park load zone. Be sure to manage your lives as well. You do not want to game over during doing a cutscene skip. I got the secret sauce. <laughs> I got the secret sauce. Canada the Clip is one of the toughest cutscene skips in the game. It is extremely fast, but not to worry, we do have two slightly slower and easier methods if that one's just not quite your speed. The preferred method for now would be going and grabbing our best friend Burger Man. Again, again though, this version of the clip, while it is very easy, is a JP exclusive. You're gonna take Burger Man. And then you're going to just clip right on out by dropping him twice right here. Once you're out, you know, you can D-pad down again. And then we're right back here. It's the exact same movement as it was for uh, the as it as it is for Canada Clip. Now what if you were on US though? Canada Clip just seems a little bit too tough for you, and you know, you can't do Burger Man because you're on JP. While well, the near other option for skipping this cutscene is the slowest, but the funniest, you just drown. You want to make sure you don't go too far right. You want to stay at, you want to stay too far left. You want to stay extremely far away from this computer monitor. This is about as close as you can get. You're going to jump into the water. And then you're going to wait for Sonic to start drowning.
It takes a while. This used to be the fastest method, but that's why we found the other ones. This one is uh, a little slow. Still much faster than watching the cutscene, though. Gonna wait two, one, wait for the one, zero, and then you're gonna walk on <laughs> under the cutscene. Sonic will then drown during the cutscene, which will kill him and get you into Twinkle Park. Okay, now it's time for the most difficult and least worth it trick in the entire game. This trick is one I would highly recommend avoiding for at least a little while. It's very unimportant. But this cutscene skip is for the Red Mountain, like the pre Red Mountain cutscene where Sonic is in Station Square. I'll play it right here for you. It's the one where Sonic is stamping his foot on the ground. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get onto the stairs here and spin dash up. This jump is extremely tight. So you want to kind of like spin your stick in a little bit of a circle as you're going up so you can get past the invisible wall and then land on this little piece of terrain. Then you're going to want to jump onto this window. From here, you can press D-pad down and the camera will clip out of bounds with you, which now makes it to where you can easily see what you're going to do when you jump in here and land. You want to land on this tiny, tiny, tiny piece of road. And then what we're going to be aiming for is the, the protruding corner. I'll try and, let's see if I could do this, uh, color source. What we're going to be aiming for is approximately about right here-ish. So you want to try and hit this corner without going inside of it. So you want to just barely graze it. Because Sonic needs to graze this corner and then fall to his death. This jump is extremely technical and extremely difficult. And right now, definitely not worth doing in runs, but... Yeah, as I didn't even get it there. I didn't quite get close enough. But what you want to do is you want to jump very slowly towards that corner. Otherwise, the fastest movement you can do here would be running on over to this set of stairs. You want to stand just before the first step, not on the staircase. And then you want to do a spin dash jump straight up Station Square Central, then slide into the middle section right where the doors are at. I'm trying really hard to think. I do think this is the last one. At least for Sonic. Okay. All right, folks, so we have come up on the final cutscene skip of the run and the last piece of tech I'll be showcasing for this individual tutorial. This is this is a clip that has a few different ways of doing it, but there is really no easier method. As far as I know, this clip only works on JP. There is an international version of this clip, but I do not have the sauce on that one, as I do not play international. For more information on that one, if you run a US copy of the game and you're interested, uh, join the Discord. Be sure to ask be sure to ask us in the Dreamcast general chat, as we have the link to it. But I am not one of the international runners, so for now at least, so I will not be able to give you too much on this one. But I can let you in on the big one that we do here for Japanese version of the game runners. So this is where you're going to spawn after landing on the egg carrier following Sky Chase 2. What you're going to want to do is before you get too far on this platform, run off to the left. It's very important as the cutscene trigger is very big. It starts approximately about here-ish if I'm running like in a straight line back and forth. Crossing this point at all immediately starts the cutscene. Okay, so what you're gonna wanna do is you are going to want to spin dash kind of off to the left while holding the A button. As you can see, Sonic is kind of spinning in place here. That doesn't always happen, but if that does happen, that means you're in the correct place. So you want to initiate a spin dash hover by jump canceling and continuing to hold the A button. So I'm pressing A and X at the same time and continuing to hold A. I'm gonna walk over here and then I'm trying to spin dash off to the left. 
in Sonic will fall, you can curve around and then homing attack cancel off into the direction that the cutscene trigger was in. It is that simple. This cutscene skip is a little trickier than it looks. It's not the most consistent thing in the world, but once you get that clip out, you can easily fall right in by just doing a homing attack boost cancel, which is done by just pressing A and then rolling over to X or B. And there you have it. That is, for now, the end of the Sonic Adventure Dreamcast advanced tutorial showing off all of the cutscene skips which have been found from the end of 2022 going into April, May of 2023. I will continue to, to make more of these if more tech is found in the future. But if you liked this video, thank you so much for checking it out. Uh, if this helped you at all with anything that you were trying to do in the hub worlds, please be sure to let me know. And if this has got you interested in running the game, I'll have the Discord linked in the description below. I really, really hope that this gets a little bit of use from at least some people, as cutscene skips are a very alluring part of the game these days, and there really isn't a lot of documentation on them because of how new they are. So very glad that they could show this off for Sonic Story. And I'll be sure to come back and do some more with uh, Knuckles, Tails, and Amy in the future. So if you're looking forward to more Sonic Adventure tutorial content, be sure to subscribe, like, and check me out on Twitch. Goodbye!